Are you still watching ways? So this is why I'm calm. Today is the International Day of Peace. It's observed globally <laughs> on September 21st. The United <laughs> Nations General Assembly marks the day by promoting ideas of peace amongst nations and people by observing non-violence and ceasefire for 24 hours. This year's theme is End Racism, Build Peace. And the UN General Assembly has declared this as a day devoted to strengthening the idea, ideals of peace through observing a 24-hour um, or 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire. I love this particular year. Seize, um, end racism. You know, so I love, I love this particular. Let's start year. with the fact that your English name is Peace, mm -hmm. and I call you Peace. Act peace. Oh, yeah, you forgot that you are called. Yeah, so that, that's the thing. <laughs> Actually, I gave myself that name. Really? My parents only gave me one name, Osayuame. So I added peace, and I think I was in the spirit when I added peace. You must peace. have been in the spirit because <laughs> you manifest it. <laughs> What's in the app? The name. Keeps, you know, I'm saying that the name has really tamed me. Mm. The name has connected with me. Because some people wonder how I'm able to forgive, move on sometimes and all that. I wonder, so I just think maybe God was seeing ahead and said, you know what, let me add peace to this name. English name is Grace, but me, I know they forgive like No, that. but you have Grace. <laughs> I you do remember, have that's what I'm grace. saying. It, but grace, I don't share grace. that grace with you. <laughs> grace comes in different capacities. She will give me lecture now. <laughs> okay, Can let I me express my lecture to you myself. Give me it's peace day, so namaste. Peace. Namaste. 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 It's my day. In case you're not here. One peace day. <laughs> Let's share the grace. <laughs> You know, as my name uh, connotes, so just indulge me because I'm going to be peaceful all day today. No problem. I'll bring so, the fire for you, girl. <laughs> I'm ready for the trouble. And out the window, the peace goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, what did you find for us in the news? All right. So uh, my news is quite interesting today. And it was tagged every day for the thief mm. and one day for the owner. Mm. Very so, interesting story. <laughs> very interesting indeed. I mean, I would usually not go for stories like this, but I, I found it quite interesting. So there's this viral video, that, you know, on Instagram about a suspect, Obeemi Olufemi. I don't know if they can show the video, mm. but Olufemi was intercepted by policemen on their stop and search duties along Ibarra. Odo Akure Road. Ibarra, okay. Ah, okay. So he was riding on a motorcycle with a school bag containing different They're denominations here, of Naira notes. Mm -hmm. He could not explain the source of the money nor give an accurate account of the total amount of the money in his bag. Wow. So later he confessed that he had stolen this money from a church offering <laughs> book. It looks like it. <laughs> At CAC Church EKG in Arakeji. Ara in Oshun State. Mm -hmm. And the money was sorted and counted by the police and it came to the amount of 200 and 620,000 oh, Naira, 20,115 to be exact. Mm -hmm. So he stole including people's prayer requests <laughs> and, That's offering, the part that me. <laughs> and offering money. So imagine you took both people's prayer requests it's, it's nice. and their money. I think it's gone. It was interesting because you cannot steal from God and get away from it. E right? Mm. Well, we well, no, no, no. No, well, mm. assuming people okay, have given. So the church, assuming they gave the God money to the church, to God. And God. Anyway. So you stole and they caught, They say one day for the owner. And the police people were on duty. But I want to ask Dutifully this question, that is day. this his first time stealing? Well, we don't or know all of that de detail. But it's possible that he could have been. Because for you to go and take up a whole it's, vault. It's quite but, I want, but I want to ask, though, for how long has this stealing been happening? There's no way for the truth of it is that you can't time. know, but there's yeah, like they said, there's always one day for the owner. Mm. Saying that you could have been getting owner. away with different things. You know, it, you know, sometimes these things even start from childhood, and yes. then oh, is a child, is a child, picking like, things here and here until you keep progressing, mm -hmm. and then you go for the bigger ones, mm. and then one day the owner. I will like catch that one you. day for the owner, but someone who's a joker. 
So, same quotation on uh, not anything to do with this guy, saying 99 days for the thief and one day for the owner. And you know, comment section now. Someone came and said, then it seems to me that the thief is enjoying more than the owner. <laughs> if the thief had it for... The, the, the for owner had to wait days. for one day. And the, 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 the owner only has it for one day. Do the math now. But then again, it also <laughs> points to the fact that hmm, people are desperate mm -hmm. and they would do anything. Anything at all. Anything, including going to the church mm. but, but to steal prayer God. points. God has already to steal prayer points prayer and points. offering. I think he's about to become an assistant. Mm, it is well. I like the your story. <laughs> okay, mine is good news. I don't even know if we have a write up for it. But um, what's her full name? Me, I know her as Kiki. Bukumi. Yeah, everybody knows her as Kiki. She, okay, it's Buk Bukumi Adiaga Ilori, announced her, you said we this thing, I work for this one, <laughs> announced her pregnancy just yesterday, oh. and social media went crazy. If anybody knows, Kiki is a joy giver. She has content for yokes, content for days. I personally have been looking at it, you know, judging from hairstyle changing, and puffiness of the face of the nose mm. that i think this girl is hiding something but i'm not a womb watcher so i complimented her two weeks ago and said that kiki what i admire about you is that you have content in your archives that for the next three years if you don't do anything and you don't leave your house you will be able to give out give them give them without anybody realizing but again when she was releasing the news about being pregnant she released a single called loru called jesu Mm. And she was professing goodness into this unborn child's life. Um, Oluwa Shin, Shin or your, or, 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 let me not mess the name up. Mm. But it reminded me of the Jabez prayer. Mm. Although Jabez had experienced something negative before he actually said the prayer. So what is most interesting to me is that number one, a thousand and one people knew she was pregnant. Nobody shared it on social media. Mm. They respected her boundaries. They respected her wishes. And she was so kind and friendly enough that even though she's in America, she was taking pictures with people and telling them, please, please hide my post. bomb, don't post. And nobody posted until she, she actually announced said it she herself. Was ready. God bless you people mm. for doing that. I love that. That was, that was, that was the one funny. That but funny thing is that I was at a wedding. Mm. Normally, the wedding I wore the lilac yeah, dress. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. Kiki was the. And Wasn't she, that the one that she had the ruffle in front of her? In fact, she posted a picture about yes. it yesterday. She said, "This is the wedding that the bridesmaid bumped into my yes. stomach," and I was like, "Hey, these people don't know there's a shine in here somewhere." <laughs> I, I, if you, it's not even that. She was also she hosted. Um, she, she hosted quite um, a number of dots media. That, that so period. she hosted dots media. Uh, what's it called? Um, Trends up award. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Yes, that was the one. So that, that she turns fell that as well. she pulled that she fell off the stage. Mm. Was and the event that I saw where she, I mean, that I attended uh, uh, the wedding. Yeah. She was, and she was, so the energy. You no. Know, when you say God someone bless is her. giving. Yeah, she's blessed. Energy. Congratulations. Me too, I'm kind of like giving joy giver energy, but Kiki. is on another I level. I watch her and I'm mm. like, how does she do, do it? Do it. She's on another May level. May God bless you, Kiki. She's, she's, you, but for one she's second. It was such a beautiful video. Beautiful. 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 All right, so on that note, my story should I shouldn't have even taken a story because after this lovely story, <laughs> you don't want to spoil my mood. I don't want to spoil my mood. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> but hey, the president. Mm of the Federal Republic of Nigeria advocates respect for free speech. Okay. <laughs> I found this very contradictory. Um, so the President Major General Muhammadu Buhari mm. retired on uh, Wednesday urged fellow African nations and United Nations member states to uphold free speech. This was as he called for the protection of vulnerable communities against misinformation, mm -hmm. which he said had driven most of the armed conflicts in Africa and around the world. Buhari made this comment during the uh, last address as the president of Nigeria, because this is his last address as the president of Nigeria at the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly that is currently holding in New York. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that he's talking about free speech. I just want us to just make sure we take it a notch higher as the elections are coming people will be making noise they'll be arresting people yesterday i saw a video on tiktok of one of the human rights lawyers that was jailed 
right yeah. that has been released so i'm just saying to you guys that so it's not enough for us to just say okay say all the right things let our actions begin to profess and i mean and no let it show that we are actually advocating for free freedom, freedom of speech, of speech. Yeah. when I it comes to something. nigeria not to i me. believe very quickly i believe it was when idi Amin was uh, a military ruler that he said you can have freedom of speech but freedom after speech is what I can't guarantee you. <laughs> Don't let them trick you into saying something that will take your freedom away after speech. Absolutely. So on that <laughs> note, let's discuss lawlessness. And we have our guest with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.